In this video, we're going to take a look at the My Analysis section of Naxport. Basically speaking, My Analysis acts as a library for all your analysis work, allowing you easy access to collected video and data and works in progress. From here, you can quickly search through and open an analysis or manage your files for easy access. This is an important area of the Naxport software, so let's take a tour around and see how it works. The My Analysis area is open from the main menu. If you have this set as a favourite, you can click the icon directly. Otherwise, click on the Options menu, go to File and select My Analysis. This window now opens with two different areas. On the left is a link to where your analyses are stored in your hard drive. Because of this, it's important to remember that My Analysis is connected to the File Explorer on Windows and Finder on Mac. We'll talk more about this later. On the right, there is a list of analyses, also known as databases, which are contained within the currently selected folder. The analyses, which are marked in green, are currently linked to a video. Remember, videos and analysis data are not a single entity, but rather two completely separate files, which makes it easier to share work with coaches and colleagues without sending large video files. As you can see, each analysis displays the name of the file, the name of the linked video, the date it was created, the number of registers the analysis contains, and the file path of the linked video. Those marked in red are not linked to a video. To link a video, right-click on the analysis and select Auto Link Videos and choose the folder in which the video is stored. Naxport will then automatically search and link the relevant video. Double-clicking any analysis opens it on the timeline. You can now continue to analyse with Naxport's powerful analytical tools. To learn more about the timeline, check out the separate tutorial. You can find the link in the description. To open a timeline with multiple analyses, hold the Control key on Windows or the Command key on Mac, select the analyses you want to open, and click on this icon. If the analysis is a work in progress and you haven't finished registering the video yet, clicking on this icon will open the button template and allow you to continue registering the game. You can preview any analysis by clicking this icon. You'll see a list of registers and a preview of the video. By clicking on this icon, you can change the video that is linked to this analysis. If you've registered a game without a video source, you can synchronise a video to your database by clicking on this icon. For more information about this, check out the Register Without Video Source tutorial. The link can be found in the description. This icon allows you to go directly to the dashboard, which is associated with highlighted analysis. Again, by holding Ctrl or Command and clicking here, you can directly open a dashboard which contains data from several games combined. Here, you can import an export analysis from Mac OS or vice versa. And next to this icon are the export options for the analysis, such as Excel or XML. This icon will refresh the contents of the folders. Now, let's concentrate on the File Explorer and talk you through how to organise your files and file structure. This column on the left contains the database storage folders. This contains all the files and folders from the selected storage location. In Naxport, this is set to Databases Naxport, which is automatically set up in the Naxport data folder within your Documents folder when Naxport is initially installed. As you can see, this contains pre-made subfolders for your analysis data, as well as for button templates, dashboards and videos amongst other things. This default folder can be changed by clicking here on the settings menu and changing the primary database path to the folder you want. The default path can be restored by clicking here. This can be done for both local storage or server storage, which can be activated in the options menu. Back in the My Analysis area, you can switch between local and server modes with this switch. The search bar is here and you can locate any analysis by simply typing its name in the bar. So ensure that you have a suitable naming system in order to use this effectively. 
In fact, naming systems and folder structure are extremely important in the My Analysis area overall. We can't dictate how you organise your files and folders, but we've got a simple system here which is quite effective. We have subfolders within the My Databases folder that each contain a different season, and the games within that season are marked by week and opponent. For example, this one is Week 1 versus Risker for the first game of the season. There are two ways to add a subfolder to the structure. You can either click on this icon to add a folder or do it directly from the File Explorer. When you open Naxport again, click here to refresh and any new folders or files will appear here. Finally, to set your folder as a favourite, click this star. If you have the folder marked as a favourite, the path will appear here at the bottom. Clicking on the path will open the folder directly where you can add a new folder, drag and drop analysis files, etc. To delete a folder, click on the trash can icon. Right clicking on any folder will also reveal all the options we've discussed in this section. OK, so that's a brief look around the My Analysis area of Naxport. It's important to gain a thorough understanding of this area as it allows you to efficiently organise your analysis work and open your existing work quickly. And that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And to keep up to date with all the latest Naxport news, why not subscribe to the channel? Thanks, and see you next time.